I have tried to live as organic a lifestyle as I can for many years now. I have tried to eat organically for, for decades now. And then about 20 years ago, I thought, well, I'm, I'm eating organically. I'm eating a good diet, but I'm putting all these products full of chemicals onto my skin. And that doesn't make sense. So in a very bold move, I binned all my products and I started seeking out skin products that were natural or even better, organic. And it wasn't easy. There was very, very little on the market. And I have to say my, my skin did suffer for a while because I, I didn't have much to, to, to use. Um, but but now there is an absolute plethora of um, wonderful organic uh, products on the market, and um, and I for twenty years I religiously only used natural products, and then a couple of years ago I went on the Vizier machine, and um, it showed that as my skin is aging it needs a bit more. It does need products with uh, active ingredients, and you know when I started using the organic products I was in my 40s and now I'm in my 60s so my skin is very different now and it has different needs and I think all those organic products actually did my skin a lot of good because I I, I think I, I think it hasn't done too badly in those 20 years. However I'm now more open to branching out and using products that aren't totally natural and um, I love the, the, the Garden of Wisdom range which is so reasonably priced, is packed with um, uh, active ingredients and is not too bad on the chemical front. Um, it does have some but there are lots that it doesn't have in it. However today I wanted to show you some of the organic products that I like because I still do use them. I think that it's very important to mix one's products up. So I don't just use the same things all the time. Well, first of all, I'm trying products out for ageless, so I have to try different things anyway, which I enjoy doing. And also, even if I find something that I really like, I still mix it up and then I'll come back to it. So I'll give my skin a break. And I think it's good because different products, different ranges offer different things, different ingredients, different things your skin needs. Um, so I think it's quite a good thing. So I'll, you know, for example, I'll use Garden of Wisdom for four months or whatever until the products finish. And then I'll have uh, an organic couple of months. Or I might just have uh, a couple of organic products that I'll just keep going and add it to the other range I'm using. So when it comes to organic products, um, one of my absolute favorite ranges is Green People. And um, I've written about them many, many times over the years. So anybody who has been uh, following the, the Ageless website knows that I'm, I'm a great fan of Green People. And uh, since I've known them, they've really expanded. They've, you know, they've got ranges for sensitive skin with no, I mean, they're all natural and mostly organic green people. But, you know, even that is, is too much for some people who have very sensitive skin. So they've got a sensitive range. They've got their beautiful Nordic Roots range, which is a fairly new ad addition and it is a superb uh, range of products. Uh, you know, they, they have really got quite a lot of product now, but the range of theirs that I have loved since they brought it out is the Age Defy range for obvious reasons. It's, it's, for, it's for people over the age of, of 35 and it really tries to target uh, the aging process in the skin. So I just wanted to show you some of the things of their range that I use. So um, one of their newer products uh, in the range is the Collagen Boost Vitamin C Serum. And um, I'm really enjoying this. It, 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 it sort of looks like a, a cream uh, and it is creamy, but it's very, very light. It's sort of what I would describe as a gel cream. So during the day, I would start with this one and I would put it all over my face, my neck and my decollete. And I'm a great believer in vitamin C for the skin. And I have in, had instances where I, I can actually see a visible difference in my skin using vitamin C. 
So, um, and obviously this one is collagen boosting and all their products, as I said, they're natural, they're organic. This one's also got, the, you know, the famous hyaluronic acid, which is a natural component of our skin and is great for hydration, which is, is great for aging skin. But their products, because they're just filled with herbs and natural ingredients, they smell so fresh, like my hand now. Mm, it just it just smells absolutely wonderful. But vitamin C is a must have uh, for skin and particularly for aging skin. And vitamin C is also very protective. Um, it, 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 it protect it does it doesn't um, it, it won't stop you getting a tan, but it is protective against things like pollution and and, and UV rays. So it, it, it's a very good thing to have. So that's my starting point. Then they have a moisturizer, which I really love. It's called Brightening Moisturizer. And um, it's also, a, 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 you know, a, a cream, but it's, um, it's, it's light. It's not heavy at all. Um, so you can easily put it over the vitamin C and it just gets absorbed into your, into your skin. And um, the reason I like this one, obviously it's a moisturizer, but it tackles pigmentation. Now, I think there are very few people who get to their 50s or 60s who don't have some pigmentation. And if, like me, you've spent a lot of time in the, in the sun, you know, I, I really do have a lot of pigmentation in my skin. And so anything that's going to help shift that, it, it evens your skin tone and it brightens your skin. Nothing is more dulling than pigmentation. So I love that it's got this. And if you really want to tackle your pigmentation, I would recommend using this twice a day. Um, it's got beech bud and cucumber in it. So it also smells really fresh, fresh, fresh and lovely. Um, at night, um, I'm, I'm an absolute sucker for a facial oil. So, uh, and they have a beautiful organic one. Uh, it's rosehip, it, well it's called Cell Enrich Facial Oil and it's rosehip and blackcurrant. Now there are many many different facial oils and I have to say I pretty much love them all. I have yet to meet a facial oil that I don't love. Um, I, I love the prickly pear seed oil that um, Garden of Wisdom does and I do regularly use that. But as I said, I think it's good to switch it up and have a change sometimes. So I use all kinds of facial oils. Uh, and this one is absolutely wonderful. And as it says, it enriches your cells and it's incredibly nourishing. Now, um, if you wanted to use it with the brightening moisturizer, I would actually apply the oil first. So serums and oils always go, go first and then creams over, and that's a good combo. The other thing they do, which is my, which is a, a great uh, favorite of mine, is this line eraser serum. And this really is like a little um, gel. So it's, um, it's just meant to go on any lines you have on your face. So I sort of use it like an eye cream. So I put it on all the lines around my eyes. I go all the way like that. And then I like to put it on the lines above my mouth. So I put it all around my mouth there and then sort of there. So I do that. And um, yeah, so, so yeah, I'll use this twice a day. So love this one. And what has that got in it? It's got sea holly and hibiscus. So it's all natural and gorgeous. Now, during the day, after I've used my vitamin C and the brightening moisturizer, you, you have to have an SPF, especially as it's uh, summer now. So that is a must. And um, this is an old favorite of mine. So this is the tinted, SPF 15 moisturizer and it, it, it comes I think in light and medium and I actually go for the light in this because it, it's not really that light. So now if, if you're going to be walking outside and it's extremely hot I would probably use um, my Evi which is SPF 50 in, uh, in, in the summer. But if it's a rainy day and you're, you, you know you're, you're going to be indoors a lot and 
then I think this is a great one to use because it kind of, it's like having a, a, a very light foundation on. So this is uh, the light color, as you can see, it's not that light. So, um, you know, it just goes on like a moisturizer and it just gives you a very natural finish on your face. So it's really nice. And I have literally been using this, well, not this actual one, but this product, I've been using it since they brought it out and it's, it's a firm favorite of mine because you don't have to, to wear any makeup. It just makes your skin look really nice. Um, also, they have some fabulous cleansers. So um, this is their Purify and Hydrate Cream Cleanser. And it's a really creamy cream. I love it. It's so luxurious feeling. So this will get rid of, um, you know, if you've got no makeup on or if you've got a, a light makeup on, I would say. Very creamy. You put it on dry skin and then you just wash it off. Now, if I've got my full on makeup, so if I've been filming, I've been on stage or I've been for a night out, I use their Wonder Balm, which will just melts away your makeup. So um, as you can see, it's half used um, and it, it's, it's just so nourishing and balmy. So you put it on and it just melts away your makeup. So that's a really great cleanser as well. And then um, another product of theirs that I really like is their Soft Buff Skin Exfoliator. Now, this is a physical exfoliator. And as I've said before, you've got to be very careful with uh, physical exfoliators because a lot of them are just too rough and can damage your skin. But this one is, um, it, you know, it looks like a cream and it's got, um, it's just got very light, very light, gentle little particles in it. So it's not at all rough. And that's really great to use um, once or twice a week, I think. And I would usually use that at night before um, my, my facial oil. What else have we got here? Um, oh yes, I absolutely love this. This is their Pure Luxe Body Oil with pomegranate and neroli. And it's just a beautiful oil for the skin. Very nourishing, just sinks into the skin, doesn't leave you all greasy. It just, it disappears. So this, this isn't their whole range. This is just some of the products in the range that I absolutely love and I, and I wanted to share with you. And um, I do love my organic products. I really, really do. So um, even though I'm using lots of other things, they're still there and I'll still have weeks, months when I use them and I'll still have a product, you know, like this one I, I use all the time, to be honest, and this I use all the time. And um, yeah, so they're, they're still there and uh, are very much in my life. Uh, if you'd like to check out Green People, you'll find them on the Ageless site, on the Glynis Loves page, and uh, you can even get a little discount there. Yes, I've negotiated a little discount. So it's all there on the Glynis Loves page.